Your former boss, Paul Heyman, we were talking about him earlier. He's got a new gig, executive producer for WWE Raw. What do you think about uh, WWE making the call to do that with him? Uh, I can see nothing but positive things happening. Uh, if they, you know, let him, if WWE truly lets Paul Heyman have a voice, uh, Paul was always a creative guy. Well, Paul is, has always been a creative guy. It's just, you know, um, you know, now he'll have a little bit of a governor on him. You know, there's certain things, you know, he had a little bit of a governor in ECW too, but that's another story. Uh, you know, where you can't totally go overboard and stuff like that. You know, you can't call, you know, like, there's a story where Paul wanted to Jerry for this promo for Mikey Whipwreck, so they flew to Jerry from Japan to New York, you know, on this ridiculous ticket just to do a, a walkthrough on a promo, and then to Jerry flew back to Japan. You know, you can't do stuff like that, you know. You know, uh, I don't think, you know, the violent, you know, I don't think, you know, Paul would, you know, make things more violent. Everybody thinks Pauly, they think ECW, they think violent. And in my opinion, if ECW had stayed around, ECW was more or less going to become something more like Ring of Honor was with the, you know, the pure, you know, technical, athletic, scientific wrestling. But uh, Paul was always good for just thinking of storylines and making them make sense. And he would do that just showing up to the building and writing the show out on a napkin and looking around the, the locker room and saying, hey, who do I got? What can I do with him? And now he's got a whole full roster of WWE superstars. And he's also got a sub-roster of, well, not sub-roster, I hate to say that, because I think NXT is on the same level as WWE. You know, no, I don't think people get called up anymore. I think they get called over from an NXT because I think NXT is, a, you know, I consider that a major promotion. But, uh, you know, he's got a whole other roster of NXT wrestlers he can pick and choose from to, you know, recruit over to, you know, Raw. So, you know, Paul Heyman is, is the creative genius, you know, when it comes to in-ring, behind the camera, uh, and, you know... I think Vince McMahon's definitely made it a wise choice and having a fresh set of eyes, you know, you know, I do a lot of things on the computer. I'll do some, you know, I do a lot of graphic arts and stuff like that. And sometimes I'll be looking at something. I go, man, I can't figure out how to help, how to do this thing. And I step away and I come back a day later with fresh eyes and I figure it out. So I think Vince McMahon is taking a step back and he's bringing Paul Heyman in as the fresh set of eyes go, Hey man, how can we breathe life into this? How can we make this more vital? And how can we, you know, bring the numbers back up with the ratings and hopefully get people to buy more pay-per-views, subscribe to the network and, you know, have more people come out to the live events, you know, because, you know, it's a business day. Yeah, WWE needs a little bit of help and they've had the secret all along. They just had to, uh, you know, invite them, you know, to take over the, you know, the helm. 